What's up guys, welcome to another Marvel Show Toy Review. This time I bring you the Marvel Legends Build a Figure Demon Goblin video, assembly video, that I'm going to do. And as you can see, I have all the figures in this wave. Yep. If you want to see reviews from them, go on my channel, check them out there individually. As you can see, I have all the characters. I have the first one, the Spider-Man, the Velocity Suit, Spider-Man with the Mark III armor, Superior Octopus, Spider-Man comic and Marvel's White Rabbit and Marvel's Vulture and the master of Kung Fu himself Shang-Chi so without further ado let's look at the parts of the Demon Goblin here are the bath pieces as you can see to build the Demon Goblin let's get a much much closer look at it so here's a much more closer look much more zoomed in look to these pieces of the builder figure for the Demon Goblin. And they look pretty badass if I say so myself. Obviously, these pieces came with their figures, sold with their figures, to make one whole new figure, obviously. And I'll be looking at these individual pieces individually. Yep, <laughs> I know. So, let's get this. Join me. So the first bath piece we're going to look at is the head. Now, doesn't that look awesome? The details, the teeth, the tongue, the colors of the tongue, the colors of his eyes and his face. Just I love that detail. And his hood, very wrinkly. And the inside of his hood, blood red. Now, doesn't that look awesome? This bath piece came with the vulture. The next back pieces are the legs. As you can see, pretty cool. These are his right leg, his left leg. So his right leg came with the Spider-Man Velocity suit figure. And this one came with the Spider-Man Mark III armor. And they both and they both look pretty cool. The red right here, all blue, you know. Next build of figures are his arms. They came with the superior octopus. Now look at that detail, the texture, love that. You can feel it if you were to have this figure. And then he has some sort of bracelet, metal chain bracelet. These hands look like they're gonna grab you like this, you know? Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then the color red, then the glove thingy. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Both of them have the metal chain. Next up are the bath pieces that came with Shang-Chi. The cape and the body. Pretty cool, ain't it? Love the color of the cape inside. And the blue. Love how it's very raggedy, ripped up. Awesome. And then the details on here, pretty awesome as well. The strap with the belt. And then you just put it on like that. And last but not least, the bath pieces that came with Marvel's White Rabbit is the Burning Demon Goblin Glider and the piece that holds it. That's very simple, no much introduction or more detail for this, but the Demon Goblin piece, just look at that, the orange, the yellow, the red, the glider, looks very awesome. But, yeah. So, up next, join me as I assemble the pieces to make the figure. All right, so let's start with the body and put on the Demon Goblin head on him. All right, didn't pop in, but it's in. It is in, cool. Let's pop in the right hand, right there, perfect, perfect. And then let's pop in the left hand. Perfect. Yep. Good. Good. Alrighty. Up next is his left leg. You have to, you know, there you go. Squeeze it in until it goes in perfectly. And then up next is his right leg squeeze it in swivel it so it could pop in 
there you go the figure is set and before I show you guys with the demon glider you know him on top of the demon glider I want to go over the articulation with him all right join me so he's able to look up that much you know his hood and his cape kind of hinders it a little bit go up fully and his cape kind of hinders it a little bit to go all the way down but he's able to look a little bit down he has some nice a little bit of a nice head tilting he could turn his head side to side you can take out his arms all the way like that just remember that they pop off a little bit but arms can go all the way up same thing with this one pretty much about there and his arms are able to go around and around to downtown he has a nice ab crunch so far he's able to go back and in you know when he's gonna glide in there you know uh, he has a waist swivel as you can see the detail in the belt again pretty awesome pretty awesome he's able to kick this far to the side this far up that's, uh, that's pretty high <laughs> he has a thigh swivel obviously and he has a calf swivel and his ankle swivels too and it goes up and it goes down we're back same thing with this one love the detail love this figure so you ready to see him on the glider I am. Join me. And there he is, the demon goblin himself, baby. Doesn't he look badass? Doesn't he look menacing? To me, he does. Awesome. I recommend you guys to get this figure because it's a pretty sweet figure. But it means you have to get all the figures to build them up. I'd say it's worth it. So, that, but that's up to you guys. Yep, look at him, he's gonna kill ya. And here he is with the only other goblin figure I could compare him to. And that is the OG original green goblin that I have from Marvel Legends, of course. And uh, both of their gliders are cool. I had to uh, get a canned food as a standee because I couldn't find anything else for the green goblin. But they both look amazing, don't they? Both look like they're gonna team up against Spider-Man and uh, fuck him up. Yep. Damn. I call this team the Goblin Kings. Which is a nod to the comics, I guess. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys had fun as I assembled this figure, reviewed this figure for you guys. Because, man, it was a journey. And it was awesome. So stay tuned for my next figure review. Alright guys.